going. We're going. We're doing it. Stonefly clock, baby. Do I say baby too much? No. Am I gonna get in trouble? Baby. Am I gonna get in trouble? Nah, baby. Do we get to name it? We don't get to name it. I was gonna name it something funny. Damn, what should we have named it? If we had the chance. Baby. Baby, of course. Yeah. Oh, what did I skip? Did I skip something important? That's what Caleb's floor looks like in his room. <laughs> Caleb's gross, bro. <laughs> Caleb's a nasty fucker. I built one of them M90 engines from scratch using a little bit of phonical spit and rock I found on a trip to... Where was I again? That was... That's Caleb I don't even want to think about what Bryson's floor looks like. That that's his carpet. That's the germs on his carpet. <laughs> Clearly, imagine like pieces of candy sticking out of the carpet. There's Bryson's like, butthole. Close up, but in, like chowder <laughs> art style of just like nasty fucking candies that are rotting <laughs> in the carpet. Peppermints. Sticking, ugh, suckers, lollipops. Oh my god, look at this art style. Ooh, Ooh. fuck. Who are we? I think we're this little girl. Dad, you're forgetting. See, maybe okay. So I think you're you're like little Keebler elf people. Yeah, uh, yeah. I've always wished I was a little uh, Twinkie elf. You're sure a Twinkie elf? <laughs> yeah. Grab a wrench. Got the wrench. Yeah, and then I think he's like making the ship, so he's gonna put me in a little ship and send me to, into the garden to kill bugs. We need to send Bryson in the garden and kill some bugs. Can I leave? Oh, just bring us back to dad. Well, maybe not to kill the bugs, but to scare them off at least. To eat them. And then they'll stop eating our food, and he'll start eating the bugs. <laughs> I don't know, oh, bro. I swear, like, when he eats, he just eats more. He just keeps getting hungrier and hungrier and increasing his metabolism. He, he just keeps growing like Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> yeah. That's scary. Yeah, the Big Red Bryson. <laughs> God, the Big I hope not. Red Bryson. Yeah, he's getting more red... Every day he reddens and grows. <laughs> yeah, bro, I keep saying get out of the sun, but he just keeps burning and swelling. It's gross. <laughs> I hate it. I hate Bryson. Yeah, he's something else. You have it so easy. All right, come on. Let me go. What are we doing? I think that's my dad's talking to me. God, I hate our dad. He's proud of us. We, we just gotta deal with them, bro. I'm picking the next game, and it's dads gonna be two be, player. Dads be dad, and what are you? What are we playing next? I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna think real good. All right, this is gonna get crazy. I know it is. <laughs> get out of here. Though. It feels like cool Pokemon though. This music sounds nice. I keep yeah, keep telling how it is until you realize how cool your dad is. You should do the trick. God damn it! We gotta replace a pump. Come on, dad. Where's the pressure uh, mold? Oh, oh, over here. I wish someone else was our dad. Dude, our dad's cool. Let me believe it, dad. We gotta get him the pump. Is this outside? Oh my god. Oh, whoops. Oh, am I running now? What the hell? How was I running? Dad! You... Okay, let me leave. Is this not how you leave? No, do you maybe have to go button. at the top? Oh, what's this? This is a big window. Oh, that's... <laughs> oh, uh, I'm an idiot. Sorry. I drank, uh... A couple, drink the a, dude. Couple, a couple lung beers before this. If it... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That thing's scary. That old fucking man? Yeah, that man. No, the robot. I was gonna call him by our neighbor's name, but I forgot what our fake neighbor's name is. Our real neighbor's... Name, because we can't use his real name on a podcast. Yeah, he listened. Yeah. Yeah, he's... And he's a famous white supremacist author, so he wouldn't like us putting his name <laughs> in Did I just run through that? Oh, that's, that looks awesome. Where the fuck... Wait. Is that the shed? I should get some sleep. Oh, I gotta go sleepy. Alright, got some sleep. That was the easy goal. That was... we. I did that real quick. Okay. There we go. Now we're talking, baby. What the heck? Oh, shit. What the heck? Holy shit. Carissa. Carissa? Oh, whoa. Did I just die? Wait, hold a... Oh, so I can drop down... Oh, wait, what the fuck? 
Oh, I see. You gotta, like, kind of drop. Ooh. This is scary, a little bug. <laughs> Whoa. What'd you do if you were a little bug? If you got honey, I shrunk the kids. Um... What'd you do Wait, first? Wait, if I was a little bug or if I got honey, I shrunk the kids? Those are two different. <laughs> so this, if you guys shrunk to the size of a bug. Oh, man. Like, if you were just, like, little... I mean, you can answer both questions separately if you need to. Well, if I became a bug, it depends on what kind of bug I am. What would be your ideal bug? I don't know. Are bees technically bugs? Bees are... But I'm, I'm counting bees as bugs. I want to be a bumblebee then. Or a honeybee. I think a honeybee. Yeah. Yeah. Just serving Blake Shelton could sing about me. Serving a queen? Yeah. <laughs> absolutely, bro. <laughs> Fucking servicing a heavenly queen I can find. All the queens. Yeah. Oh, oh. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is weird. That's what the honeybee does. Okay, so now if you got honey, I shrunk the kids. Um... I'd probably see what bugs I could ride. Not sexually, just like actually as like a steed. <laughs> Again, non-sexual. Yeah. Because uh, I think that would be really fun. Yeah. Um, I would see which bugs I could befriend, and I would immediately just try and like steer clear of spiders. That's number one. I just realized that like uh People, oh, okay, you can like anchor down into the ground here. Oh, fuck! <laughs> also, I know that frogs taste like chickens, so I would try and kill a frog, because I think it would just taste like a big chicken. Yeah, and you'd have a lot of chicken to yeah, that's, eat. That'd be my target, would be to take out a frog and try and preserve it. Okay, that makes sense. I guess sense. I'm trying to find you guys right away. I'm trying to let you know, hey, I got shrunk. Even though I'm, if it happens, you probably had something to do with it. You think I would have something to- what the fuck? Yeah. Why would I have something to do with it? I don't know. You're always getting involved with curses, breaking into graveyards. I've broken in... <laughs> yeah, buddy. To, I think, maybe one graveyard. Yeah, you and me have broken in a couple places, though. We won't talk about it, but... Yeah. We'll get around. And <laughs> save all some spooky stuff and some curses. Am I wrong? I never had a real curse. Whoa. Oh, shit. I don't know, man. That's <laughs> we be fighting off curses with like, you know, we got them weird banners you found under the bridge. That's we got true. to take care of. We just had to do? bury that Ouija board. <laughs> we did have to bury a Ouija board. I'm just saying, like, oh, you got all this sure. shit in your room. Some of it's for sure curse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but I guess you know, honey, I shrunk the kids is science. Look at these little yeah. fuckers. This is me f killing the lice in Caleb's hair. Alright, now we're just bullying Caleb. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> I don't know if Caleb's smart enough to pull that off. What, to have lice? <laughs> oh, I thought you meant <laughs> that he honey the shrunk the kids. Shrunk kid. you? What yeah, you I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't know if he could pull that off. I thought he shrunk me. Yeah, no. For sure not. No. You though? You're a shrinker, bro. A shrinker. Yeah. You're a shrieker. Well, no, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a grower, not a shower. Okay. But you're a shrinker. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, my I actually am hard as shit constantly, and then when I get a boner, it shrinks down. It sucks. No, you're like uh, <laughs> you know the things you put in water, the, like little dinosaurs. Oh right. Yeah, when they're bigger, they're soft, but they turn into little hard pellets. <laughs> <laughs> this is me killing the spriggets in the basement. Yeah, so you got like a soft hog, but you got like a rock hard micro penis. <laughs> Fair enough, I'll take it. <laughs> a shrinker. Okay. Or a shrink a dinker. <laughs> a shrink a dinker. This thing kind of looks like a shrink a dink. Yeah. Did you ever have shit like that? Like the shrinky dink or the weird sand in the water? Uh, no. I had, I think the weirdest toy I had that I thought was like normal other kids didn't have was like hexabits. What are those? Those are- They're like little hexagonal, like, rub not rubber, 
I mean, they're like hard placement material, but they're like little hexagon building blocks, essentially, that you can just make like flat art out of. Okay. They're kind of lame, but you could also make like balls out of them if you shaped them right. I think I actually. Yeah, they're seen like those. hexagonal and you can interlock. Okay. Yeah, I think I have seen those. I keep forgetting that there's a girl in here and not like a little creature. I don't know. What weird toys did you have? Um. I had. Oh, man. Oh, the crash test dummies. Remember those? <laughs> yeah. Their little bodies exploded apart, and you're, like, supposed to actually smash them. And then you, like, put them back together like a puzzle. Those are kind of funky. Yeah, my dad had an album by the crash test dummies. Oh, you know that? Oh. The Halo theme? <laughs> no. <laughs> Close. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they have that one song. But I th also thought it was, like... Oh my god. You know, the the band was the Crash Test Dummies. And it was like a gimmick, like when there was a Ronald McDonald band or something. And I just thought like the Crash Test Dummies were like a marketing attempt for Crash Test Dummies. Oh, whoops. That would be, uh... If that makes sense. They were using the Crash Test Dummy characters to sell Crash Test Dummies. That would be... <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> or they just made a cartoon like the Crash Test Dummies. That would have been funny. Yeah. Thought, like someone was selling merch off that. Like, I just didn't really understand as a kid. I feel like they should have done that. Yeah, and like in one of my talk of video games, you could like crash the car and there had. There was crash test dummies, so I just thought that it was like a popular thing people liked. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to think of other shit. I remember like other weird cartoons and stuff in general, like the street sharks and gargoyles. I'm not thinking of, I can't think of toys. I had these weird Egyptian toys. I actually have one over there where you like squeeze this guy's legs and like a fucking snake comes out of him. I don't know what the fuck oh. it, it would have been. Yeah, like it, he like splits in half yeah. and there's like a snake inside. I had one of the OG uh, uh, like Hot Wheels tracks and it was you could jump and the shark would try and catch the Hot Wheel car. And sometimes it would get past it, sometimes he would catch it. it I, had the, so awesome. I had the octopus one. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, I want to buy a couple of those sometime and just, like, <laughs> set play them with them. Yeah. I can rock I also them. want to buy, like, a big-ass Lego set, like Millennium Falcon or something. Together with the boys. Yeah. Like a rainy day someday. I bet they got something real weird. We should get in its been a while Lego collection. And it'll just be, like, us. Dude, yeah, we should find... I bet you can build custom Lego guys online with your custom features. <laughs> you should do that at the end of this. It's a little bonus. <laughs> Introducing the new Bryston Lego. Yeah. This is the biggest lice. sunglasses we can find. <laughs> he do be liking his shades. They've been calling him the Johnny Knoxville of podcasts. Uh, if you read the comments, that's what... Oh, there's a big bug. Look at this fucker. Damn, I would love a Lego me. What would you do with it? Probably just look at it and play with it. Just look at it? Yeah. What do you think, uh... Send pictures of it to girls. Do you think they would like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, you can hang out with Lego me when real me is pissing you off. It's pretty intriguing. If I ever piss you off, I sleep on the couch, you get to sleep with Lego me. Dude, and then if you fall in love with her, one day you get her. <laughs> you Lego, Lego her. Yeah. You know? And then you just... You know, instead of a... You a, 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 a normal wedding, just make them... Just put those up on stage. <laughs> you know, you don't even have to be at the wedding. It's like a surrogate that does things for you. Ooh. Remind me like Samurai Jack or something. I like Samurai Jack. Yeah, I need to like watch it completely through. By the way, this episode's sponsored by Mountain Dew Voltage. Ooh, uh, did the sponsor leave any for me? No Mountain Dew Voltage, yeah. You can, you can swing up in the Mountain Dew Voltage branded mini fridge and grab yourself an ice cold Mountain Dew Voltage. You know, we're looking at a total fat of zero grams, sodium 60 milligrams. You don't need to know the rest. You can buy the can and read the rest yourself while you're sucking down a fucking ice cold Mountain Dew Voltage. I'm telling you. I'm just it's kidding. Blue, baby. It'll be legit, though. Uh oh. A robot. Oh! Fuck, bro. Do you hear that ice cold crisp? That opened up nice. Who was out in town so late? That was the uh, robot man. 
It's in your house now. God, fuck that. So look at how... Erika! She was, like, sleeping in the most uncomfortable position on Earth. I'm skipping through. I'm sorry. Skipping, skipping, skipping. Oh my god, if our dad's dead. Please. Another dead dad. Oh, no! It's gone. Did you have something to do with this? Oh my god, the ship. Oh no. What are these? Robot footprints? That's Diamond, the company for, that you can buy at PacSun. This episode is sponsored by PacSun. What up, PacSun? I just ordered two pairs of shorts from PacSun. Give me my money back. <laughs> Why? Because now you're sponsored by them? Yeah. Yeah, you just have to pay for this. I bought shit. those. What the heck? Come on, guys. Wait, yeah. We waited till we made a big house order. Bryson got some new um, f sandals for the summer. He said this is called, it's uh, Bryce Boy Summer, is what he called it. Do you look how shiny my toes are? I wore flip flops earlier and I blistered up in between my toes. <sighs> Ouch. Yeah, that's never happened to me before. When I used to sell shoes, ladies would always be like, I can't do between the toe sandals, they rub. And I was like, what a bunch of pussy old ladies. And today was the first time it like actually hurt me. And I'm sorry, old ladies. You're right. <laughs> I'm sorry, old ladies. If you're an old lady that David wronged um, in a shoe store, make sure to comment down below whether you forgive him or not. Yeah, and you may be entitled to compensation. Yeah, we're not going to say what it is yet, though. Look, now I want a grasshopper. It involves my tongue and your butt. Oh. <laughs> Susan. Susie Q. Susie Q, if you're one of the old women and you happen to did I just jump off the edge, where do I go? This reminds me of. Uh, hey, bro, if I could sleep with Susan and get us to the top, though. Yeah, th a million mis mystery subscribers overnight. Ooh, that'd be cool. Not bots, but just like force little... people, force people to subscribe. Just for force two million random people to subscribe. Not even that, bro. Just a little front page action. Only half of them. Yeah, if you put on um our most recent interview. Oh, that thing is scary. If you oh, look at that thing, dude. What the fuck? They should have put voices in this. That would make it a lot better. Oh, that. That's why we're here for the voices. The voices, thing. yeah. Oh, we'll, uh, we'll some do stuff. Happen. We'll do the next voices. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're jumping grasshopper. <laughs> that is a pretty cool bug. See, like I would like to ride that. Yeah, God, you'd be sick as fuck. That makes you yeah, puke. Bro. I mean, you'd get used to it. Oh, if you I thought you meant sick as fuck. <laughs> I would. I was sick. like, hell yeah, bro. It would be sick as fuck, but you would also get sick as fuck. Oh God, yeah. those bugs are fucking up that ship. Uh, oh, it's the w ugly guy. Oh. Damn, if I knew ahead of time I was going to be shrunk, I would get a cowboy outfit, though, to ride them in, because that would be way cooler. Yeah. Like, I'd feel like Owen Wilson. Like the cowboy at the end of uh, um, Spy Kids 2? Or 3, sorry, sorry. Mm, I don't know, I was thinking of, like, Owen Wilson at Night of the Museum. Okay, that works. Yeah. God, this music, though, I will say. This game could be a little bit more fun. Um, oh, you didn't say what bug you would be. Um. Oh shit. You can't okay. be a spider. They're too tough. No, not a, like so. Oh, I can't be like a bird-eating tarantula. No, that's cheating. You um, gotta be tiny. Can I be like something nasty from like fucking like one of those wasps from Africa that feels like you got stabbed with like a knife made of ice? <laughs> sure, you but know, you only get one sting. No, I think some of those can sting more than one. No, this you only get one in this. In this? Okay. Yeah. I'll give you one sting. Is it worth it? Um No. Who are you stinging? Yeah, it would be somebody that fucking wronged me or wronged <laughs> my my bug family. My little Oh my god. My little jungle uh Oh, you're immediately going to bat for the bug family. You're switching loyalties. You're not just, like, chilling with the human family. No, they would not accept you. If you turn into a bug, there'd, you'd, there'd be no way you could, like, convince your family that that was you. Well, yeah, but if I just got one shot and then I'm dying, I'm probably going to do something for them rather than these bugs I just met. Oh, you mean to protect your family? Well, I'm, no, I'm just going to fuck someone who, like, fucked over my family in the past. Oh, a track down for some long-term, you know, revenge is a dish best served cold. Yeah, just like, I'll get 
I don't know, like a mean boss or something. A mean what? A mean boss. <laughs> a former employee. <laughs> yeah, someone that was a mean boss to you. Maybe. Maybe someone who's mean to my mom. I don't know. Yeah, I guess you better make sure you ask her who her meanest boss was yeah. now pre-bug. <laughs> yeah. Because you're not going to be able to ask her when you are a bug. Yeah, I guess I'll just ask my mom who's the meanest to you. Yeah. And then I'll just use that to decide. Was it a boss? Was it... I guess I should probably do that anyway. Just like... In case you ever run into them and have an opportunity to actually fuck them up as like a person. Yeah, bro. Just so I know that it's on site. I bet it's a surprising answer too if I ask my mom who she hated the most. I bet she'd say she didn't hate anybody. Yeah, but okay, the, who the, was meanest to her ever, yeah. not hated then, because yeah, you won't get the truthful answer then. Yeah, I'll just Why ask what's the meanest thing anyone's ever said to you. <laughs> and I'll kill that person. Just go find them right now. That'd be a hell of a Mother's Day gift. Yeah. Dude, oh my god, that's a good movie. Don't take that. Anybody listen to this? <laughs> Dude, we're starting that script right after this. Holy shit. Somebody just like asks, he just like sees a movie about like someone being mean to a mom and just loses his shit and just is like, mom, who's the meanest? God damn it. Who's the person who's been meanest to you ever? <laughs> it's kind of hard. Yeah, I don't know. That'd be a... Uh... Yeah. I would watch it. You could turn into the... Yeah, I guess if you're going by that logic, you would want to be a bug that could do a real big sting. And then you could just show up in somebody's house and be like this scary wasp from Africa that like should not be here. Like just like like geography like wise, it, like there's no reason for a bug like, like that scary to be here. And then fucking... <laughs> they, it's just in their bathroom and just yeah. stings them while they, when they go to grab the toilet paper to wipe their ass. <laughs> yeah, right in the butthole, bro. Just, yeah, stings like like no other possible pain feels that way. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. But yeah, we, we yeah, it'll I be. Like, just remember that dude who just puts the bugs on him. Yeah, I do want to go. I want to do an episode on him. You think he would talk to us? Maybe if we talk about him. I think if we talk about him, he might. He might be like, well, okay, what's up? Yeah. Well, what if we tell him we're doing an episode about you? Would you like to do it? Give him the opportunity. And then if he says no, we'll fucking... We just do it anyways. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, bitch. Yeah, I'm down. We'll hit up bug guy. What up, bug guy? Yo, what up, bug... Yeah, no matter what... Hey, I know you. You're bug guy. No matter what he goes by. I forgot what he goes by. Dude, he, like, cries, though. He's, I mean, he's a motherfucker, but... I can't imagine. Also, I bet there's other bug guys out there if we can't get him. <clears throat> there's the one guy that hurts himself with, like, electricity. Oh! And he does, like, stupid shit on purpose that he knows is gonna fuck up and, like, hurt him just a little bit. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> They're gonna be stupid. I fuck with it. Yeah, that's a fucking wild move. I ain't calling you Ravenwood. That ain't a name for a fucking man. That's a name for like a monster, like a raven, or like a town. I was gonna say, it's the name of a private school. Ravenwood. Yeah, I go to Ravenwood. And you're like, oh, you're the douche kid from Harry Potter. I know you. Uh, you're from the, uh, I was gonna say England, but they're in. Uh, oh, maybe this is gonna be mine. Because they said they found this fucker underwater. We we're gonna use it for parts, but we're gonna give it to you. Yeah, give me, give me that fucking spider. Oh, Ooh, look at that fire. So JK Rowling just keeps like ruining her life every time she says anything or expresses an opinion. I'm sure she's got a scary little cult following. What if she went straight fucking crazy and like tried to like have a Hogwarts for fucking Oh my god. For turfs. Fucking Turf Wards. Turf Wards. And she fucking <laughs> She tries to fucking bring all these fucking women out to this giant castle in England and <laughs> Yeah. Oh, fuck yes. Oh, it's like a crab. Oh, it's all fucked up. Oh, I can make it that far. Yeah, this game can be a little bit more fun. It's got a killer fucking soundtrack. I'll give it that. I'll give it, it has a cool soundtrack. Not, not the, not what I thought it was going to be necessarily though. Yeah, like I like games like this, but also like if it, it's an hour tutorial before I feel like I have any control. It's just like, 
It can be kind of a slog for me. Right, I wish they would just toss you into shit a little bit faster. And this is going to be a weird game, so I think, you know, like it makes sense that they got to show you some stuff, but... Give me that keyhole clamp. Not now, kid. What the fuck? I saved your life, you stupid son of a bitch. I hate him. I hate him. Oh, fucking Ravenwood. Get the fuck out of here, Ravenwood. Yeah, he's a fucking Raven dud, bro. Oh, I can buy one. Cool. It'll hold your life together. Workstation. Jump design. Fabricate. Oh, there we go. Boop. Great. That'll have to do for now. Let's do it, baby. Let me in. Let me in, my son, bitch. Oh, I gotta do some with the brakes. Oh, cool. This was a little cute video. Let me in. Let me fucking rock. It looks like you can eventually customize these things a lot. Alright, now I gotta tell these people bye. Yeah, I'm sure deeper in the game is a lot more interesting. Taking your shit. Maybe I'll play somewhere and we'll come back to it. Yeah. Let me just let me just get out of here. Custom style. Ooh. Oh. Oh shit. Okay. Ooh. We're gonna make it. It's been a while. Colors. Hell yeah, baby. Is there like black to do like the base? How would I get the black? Mm, like, white could be nice. Oh, there we go. Nice. Wow. Hell yeah. Yeah, now it's it's been a while time, baby. <laughs> Very That's cool. That they let Very you do that choice. For free, and you don't have to like go find a bunch of weird shit. I gotta sleep or something first. That rig will make Dush part rest. Okay. Only lit tent. I'm gonna sleep in my little lit tent. And I, oh, that's like actually kind of cozy. Ooh. Damn, bro. We should go camping soon. We're gonna go camping. We're gonna record a podcast while we're fucking camping. You're gonna shit your pants. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna shit. They're gonna shit. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. So watch it on the toilet. We'll make sure to, you know, give you a heads up. I was gonna say because we're bringing nice toilet paper next time we go camping. That's my one uh, I agree. soft boy request. Oh, I see what I gotta do. Yeah, I agree. That's that's fair. We'll get the soft toilet paper for the camp and trip. There it is. There's it. Whoa, whoa. What are these little things? Sweet. Yeah. Honestly, the music has been, like, reminiscent but diverse. That's funky as all hell. I've, ro I've driven, like, five different, four different vehicles so far. They really fucking drop you in. So I imagine there's going to be some crazy things eventually. Whee! Oh yeah, holy fuck. Am I just gonna go forever until I hit the ground, I guess? Ooh, that looks like a turd. Why are you always trying to show me your turds? Well, because sometimes to make I sure you're healthy. Opinion. Yeah, and sometimes I just want to show you how big they are. Okay. You how come you never want to look at my turds? Maybe we should make a website that's about like looking at other dudes' turds. Well, I don't want to move in on Poopy Podcast territory. Yeah, but they don't have a website about right, guys looking at other guys' shits and being like, "Yeah, yeah, poo yeah you, their you, brand. you look healthy, bro." Maybe we make that as a present for them. Ooh. Like, hey, we already got this website rolling. It's yours. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I would like that. <laughs> Just bros checking out other bros' fucking, you know, stools, being like, "Yeah, bro, I think that I think you're healthy. I think you just maybe ate a lot. Did you eat any candy? Is that why it's like that color?" Yeah, dude. And you know what's like? We can keep finding what poops are average or like, you know, about the bar. We call it bar stool. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bar stool. Yeah, we can make a game of it, dude. We uh, you know, like a barstool sports. Yeah, yeah, okay. I see what you mean. So we'll be like throwing them like monkeys or something. <laughs> just a toss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I just fly down here. Whee! Oh, yeah, I guess so. Whoa. This game is good at making me fucking feel like a goddamn idiot and not like, uh, because the art's so weird. Yeah, I kind of hate when games do that. Like, it's cool that the art looks like that, but I need to like, understand where I'm 
go. Right. And it's like, it's definitely like just a byproduct of it. But. And I guess like part of it is my fault. It just like, I don't want to fail and try to go somewhere I don't think I can go. Yeah, and if beta, if it worked for beta testers, it's like, yeah, it worked. Why would we need to change it? So, you know. Oh. Yeah, maybe oh I'm my just God. dumb as hell. All right, that is a good place to call it.